This is it. This is where things are starting to get even more interesting. We've unlocked that wild biblical mechanism and we've opened some kind of vault. Now apparently in this vault is something that can kill demons. Let's find out what it is. Episode 4, Chapter 11, The Spearhead. We've only got two manuscripts, so we'll have to do that one and that one. Let's go. I sense that Mr. Peru is about to surprise us too. I believed in him. I followed him to the best of my ability. I championed his ideas, defended his decisions, and then, without even realizing it, I became lost. Now that I've told you everything, you want to take my place, do you? No. I am Emily. You are wasting your time. Louis knows very well how to tell us apart. Someone had the bang coming from the Duchess's room, and she isn't answering. Louis, you really must learn to conceal your weaknesses better. If you don't want your foes to use them against you. Our desire is to steer the destiny of our respective countries for the good of all and to no longer suffer the random hazards of history. It is the natural order of things, Monsieur de Richet. There have always been men who govern other men. That is simply the way it is. History forgets them with a disconcerting facility. No one speaks about them, and yet they whisper in the ears of kings and presidents. I do like how at the start of every new episode it's got like everybody surrounding you with what they last said to you or the most important thing they last said to you. It gives you like a refresher of what's been going on. No way, this is underneath the castle. Burning Where bridges. Are we? I don't know, but we better not hang around. We have to find that weapon. What do you know about the Holy Lance, Louis? The what? The Lance of Longinus the Centurion. Oh, okay. Well, I do know the Lance. I know. Oh, that? That's what we come to find? The Lance that a Centurion stuck in the side of Christ at his crucifixion? That's it. Seriously? You don't really believe that fable, do you? Every fable is founded on true events. I'm not saying that everything adds up, but imagine if it really did exist. Very well. Now what? Well, now you know what you need to find. Pardon? I have to get to the wharf to prepare our departure. Let's get off this cursed island as quickly as we can. We shall come back when we are ready and armed. But hang on. Louis, let's first get to safety. We shall come back when we have the upper hand. Fear not. You take care of getting the lance. It's imperative. I'll take care of preparing our departure. Hang on. At least tell me everything you know about this lance. But I have never seen it. There's nothing else I can say, Louis. Well, you can always go snooping around Mortimer's study. I remember seeing paintings of Longinus there. Yeah, I've already seen them. Hang on a second. What's the matter? Why did you shoot Emily's sister? Do you really think now is the right time for this? Yes. Insist, I need to know. I want to know, Mother. Why did you betray her? Listen, Louis. I don't think you've really understood my interest in the al -Azif. It's not just simple curiosity about some old relic. You tried to kill her. And I had no choice for crying out loud. It must not fall into the hands of the demons, or we are all doomed, don't you see? Listen, I don't know exactly what it contains, but I prefer to be one step ahead. If they want it, there must be a reason. And even if I don't know what it is, I want to stop them for safety's sake, no matter what. Nothing will stop you if I understand correctly. Not Enough, even... Louis. If you could see the extent of their power as I do, then you would understand what I'm saying. All right, we'll do it your way. One more thing. 
If they find you in possession of the lance, they won't let you get away with it. Choose only one and hide it under your jacket so you don't get caught with it. Then run and meet me on the wharf. And if I get caught? If they catch you in possession of the lance, we're all doomed. Do you understand? Perfectly. Good. And go talk to Piaggi. He's the one who probably knows the most about this. Huh. So this lance, there's more than one lance. It's gonna be like the Holy Grail, where there's loads of different ones, and you have to find which one is the correct one. Well, we've got to go and question the Cardinal first, but there's quite a lot to explore down here. That's the way... That's the way in. That's the room with the mechanism. Look at the size of this crypt. I want to have a look down here first. Let's just see what we can find. A fragment of amber. The sarcophagus is engraved with the name of Clemens III. Good God! The one whose cross allowed me to enter. Ah, that's right. That was the Pope from the Middle Ages who inspired the Third Crusade. He gave the Roman people the power to elect their magistrates. This sarcophagus is beautifully made, but ancient. The stone is marked by the passage of time, but it's really well preserved. I thought that was somebody's legs there. Like, what I want to know is, who dug this out? If we're below this castle, who dug this massive cavern? Or was this just naturally formed like this? It didn't look naturally formed. Look, there's like pieces of architecture joining these pillars. This one has no name. I wonder who it was for. It's probably for me. After the find me and the brutally murderers. see that this spear has a, a so-called leaf shape that is copper rimmed. I can see the tip is engraved with the symbol of the Eye of Ra. Right. So that could be one of the spearheads. So they're going to be lying about everywhere, aren't they? I right, tell you what. We know that there's a spear copper rimmed with the Eye of Ra. If we find another one, at least we'll be able to easily identify it once we speak to the cardinal so i found one Flavius Aetius. I remember. He was the Roman general who defeated Attila and his hordes in the terrible battle of the Catalonian plains. Flavius Aetius, the one they call the last of the Romans. He was assassinated by his own emperor, who was jealous of all his victories. But how did he end up here? Maybe a demon possessed him. Maybe all the bodies that are buried here, look, they're everywhere. 
were all the ex-vessels of the demons. Oh, there's another spear. This lance has got a blade in the shape of a spear. Its blade is in iron or steel, I think. I can make out a rising sun engraved on the tip. So we've got the Eye of Ra, Rising Sun. The sarcophagus has been ravaged by time. It's sort of ageless, I guess. It's entirely sculpted. Let's have a look. These symbols, these grooves, cuneiform script. This is humanity's oldest alphabet, the language of Babel. <laughs> Sadly, no one today even knows how to decipher it. There's also some text engraved beneath in ancient Greek, Sargon. Hmm. Oh, well, that'll come in handy. can see that this lance has a particular spear shape it is coated in gold you can distinguish the symbol of the fish engraved on the tip barely noticeable right out of everyone we've seen so far i think it's going to be the one with the fish because that's the symbol of bloody jesus or some christianity in it but then again why would they kill jesus with a spear of christianity There might be one or two more. Oh. This looks very royal, looks golden. We can see that this lance has a leaf shape, and well, it's in gold. I can see that a crucifix is engraved on the tip, just barely visible. Right, so we've got a leaf shaped copper, copper, leaf shaped gold. Too many leaf shapes. Let's take a look at this lance here. It has a very special leaf shape. It is copper rimmed, and I can see a fish symbol engraved on the tip. Hmm. Might be that one, you know. For it looks very special. Oh my god, there's another one. I can see that this lance has. The shape of a boar sphere. The blade is partially coated in copper. Eye of Ra. I can just make out the symbol of the Eye of Ra engraved on the tip. There's absolutely loads of them. But really there's only three there's only three features of each spear. The shape of it, the material it's made out of, and the symbol. I can see this lance has a spear shape it is copper rimmed and it has been engraved with the symbol of the Christian fish on the tip. Right. I think we, we don't need to investigate anymore. We're not all looking for. This lance has a leaf shape. It is copper rimmed. The symbol of the Christian fish is engraved on the tip. Is that not pretty much exactly the same as the other one? Ah, maybe there's four things. There's four things we need to look for. The shape of it, the material it's made out of, the symbol and where the symbol is located, whether that's on the tip or on the, the, the bottom. Right, I'm glad I picked that. Because I know what I'm looking for. Sarcophagus of Lord Mortimer. Oh, ho, ho. it's the only sarcophagus in this crypt which appears to bear the Mortimer family name. What ancestor can it be? There's no inscription. Let's see what we can find here. 
Oh my god, we can forcefully open the lid. It's the only sarcophagus in this crypt which appears to bear the Mortimer family name. What ancestor can it be? There's no inscription. I need to open this. Let's see what we can find here. Uh, it's far too heavy. I'm not going to be able to do it on my own. You not think? I think we can. Eh? I've just opened it? There's a copy what? of Lord Mortimer. <laughs> Did you see that? I couldn't open it, but yet it was open. Right, today we're gonna. Let's see what I'm... we can find here. I'm gonna use a. The next skill is free. Ha! Huh. Great! Now let's see what's inside. Amber fragments. And royal jellies, that's always really in there. The sarcophagus of Why is it Mortimer? shut every time? Let's see what we can find here. Ha! Huh. Great! Now let's see what's inside. Right, so it that's what that's messed up that. It didn't give us the even though there's royal jellies in there, it doesn't let you get them a second time. Which was a shame because if I'd known that. What about this lance? It's got a spear shape. And the blade is partly made of copper. A barely visible crucifix is engraved on the blade. Right, come on then. I think we've seen all the spears. We've absolutely desecrated that coffin. <laughs> what was that thing we got? It's called Vandal. Oh, these are them here. You gain one skill point in agility. You pillage Lord Mortimer's tomb. Fickle. Conviction cost one more effort point. Lady Hillsborough persuaded you to change sides. No, she didn't. She didn't convince me to change sides. I, I did that so I could get information on both sides because I was being a double agent. I don't believe that. I don't believe that's warranted. I'm getting some awesome things. Right, let's go. Let's go and find Cardinal. I've never really had much to do with him in this game. I know we spoke to him at the start, but every episode we've seemed to have missed the interactions with him. Like when I've seen the, the alternate paths we could have had, we've always had something we've missed with him. Because he's always creeping about the mansion. bit weird. The jump cut between there. Now was there not a... I think to pick up. I'm sure there was one of them to replenish what I've just used. Uh, no. Ah, maybe it's on this bench here. Yeah, it was. Get in. Fully stocked again. So 
I don't know if this guy's gonna be in his room. He never ever seems to be in his room. We might just have to find him in the in the place. We could ask one of the servants or Go this way. It is night time so he should be in his bedroom. Right. No. He didn't have a room. Didn't have a bloody room. Where the fuck does he live? Right, I'm gonna do a quick a quick scan of the upstairs just to see if he's thought of oh there's someone down there. Oh is that one of the servants will ask a servant. Pardon me, monsieur, but I have work to do. I got a couple of questions. Ah, he's normally in the, ah, he's normally in the foyer, man, isn't he? Well, there's George Washington. We'll ask him. Good evening, Mr. President. Good evening. I'm not going to do that. Oh, why can I not just just back out? I'm back on the trail of my mother again. I don't have time to explain, but would you know anything about the Holy Lance? I, ah, uh, that's good news. But be careful, Louis. You might end up getting noticed. Do you know anything or not? No, I regret I don't. But why not ask von Valmer? Theology is his field, after all. That's an idea. In that case, I'll try and find him. You are keeping up the good work, I see. But I'm telling you, keep your guard up. Everyone is rather on edge right now. You're right. Thanks for everything, Mr. President. See you later. Why does everyone keep pointing us in Von Wallner's place? Like, direction. He, he absolutely hates us. All I want to do is ask where the Cardinal was could be in this room I have found him this is Sparta the spot I kick him off the edge what will think of that Your Eminence, would you have a moment to spare? Not now, Louis. Please, leave me alone. He's gonna kill himself. Pardon. I want to be alone. Very well. I, I'm only searching for information about the Lance of Longinus, the soldier. If you, you could... not listening to me. You are playing with fire. 
I heard you speak to Mr. Von Volner about it, and I was wondering if you could tell me something about it. That was a private conversation. How could I have known that he was listening to us? Hmm. I see what you mean. Louis, don't push it. Leave while you still can. Your Eminence, are you all right? Your Eminence, are you with me? Can you turn around, please? What do you want to know about the Holy Lands, Louis? Your Eminence, turn around. This is the weapon used by a Roman centurion on the very day Christ was nailed to the cross. Look at me. Longinus thrust his lance this into guy's the a right demon. side of Jesus. Please. As you wish. He's a demon, he's a demon. His nose is bleeding. So you are looking for the holy lance of Longinus, are you? <laughs> manipulate. We can manipulate I'm pretty sure we can. Yes, yes. No, no, I I was wondering about it myself. Oh Louis. It's even worse than I thought. I believe you when you say you've only come to find out more. But in that case, uh, it means that Sarah didn't even tell you the point of it all. Because, believe me, you are looking for it. You are looking for the lands. You should know, you are not the only one. Lord Mortimer has spent a good part of his life and his fortune trying to find it. Never will he let you have it. But tell me, before going any further, have you spoken to anyone else about this? No, no, Your Eminence. I thought you'd be the only one able to help me with it. Your words Shit. lack conviction, Louis. If I'm asking you all these things, it's for your own good. You have no reason to lie to me. Imagine you find it, which I don't doubt, given how resolute you are when you've got something on your mind. Then what? What are you going to use the lance for, exactly? Oh, shit. Last chance. We should, I think we should tell the truth to this guy to drive away the demons. It has to be. I think this guy could possibly be good. It's, I'm not gonna... If I told you why I needed this lance, you would never believe it. Trust me, you can tell me anything. It's our only chance to vanquish the demons. Oh my dear God, Louis. You sound just like Sarah. Do you realize you are following the same path, step by step? Sarah also started by imagining things. She too spoke of demons, I am told. She could no longer speak to anyone, and saw a hidden monster in every guest, lurking in the shadows, ready to devour her. You must let us help you, Louis. Us? I thank you for your sincerity. I shall answer you about Longinus. You deserve to be told. His spear-headed lance did indeed pierce the side of the Messiah. His blood gushed out, covering the head of the lance. It was covered in the blood of Christ. Thank you. Thank you, Your Eminence. You are welcome. Be careful, Louis. You are on a perilous path. Don't follow Sarah's demons, my boy. Don't delve too deeply into her delusions, or you won't be able to come back. The demons that she is frantically trying to drive away are in her own mind. Take good care of yourself. God keep you. It's completely covered in blood. Now, if that's the only thing he's given us, That's the, yeah, if that's the only information he's given us, I'm pretty sure there was only one lance that was completely covered in blood. And it was like a um, leaf shaped. And it had... Was it the picture of the fish on the tip, it said? It's the only one that springs to mind, but... Should I go and see Von Walner? Ah, but wait there. P 
Piaggi told me it was the shape of a bow spear. So that does not link up with what I've remembered. I'm going to have to go and see Von Wallner. But he, he's also searching for the spear. So I'll have to be careful when I do see him. Possible information sources, specialists in Isoserum, artistic depiction, sacred text. I'll tell you what we could do. We could actually go and have a look at the, the, we'll do that first. We're going to have a look at the paintings in, in that room here, in Mortimer's office. Before we go and speak to to Von Walner, although he will know about it because he's actually looking for it himself, I bet you he does know all of the information. But whether or not he's willing to divulge it is a completely separate matter. Right, here we go. Longinus is holding the holy lance in his left hand, and I'll bet he's holding the sponge soaked in holy blood in the other hand. Yes, here we can see that the holy lance is represented in the shape of a spear. Distrust. I'd better make sure I check this twice. It's it's a work that dates from the Renaissance. And there's nothing to say that it's not based on erroneous elements. Ah, okay. But I believe what I read in the letter from Milan addressed to Mortimer. There's every reason to believe that this painting has been modified according to his guidelines to represent the true shape of the Holy Lance, a spear shape. Ah, that's right, okay. But then again, do you know what it is? If Piaggi is possessed by the demon, he's not going to give me the correct information, is he? What else could we do on this painting? Longinus is holding the holy lance in his left hand, and I'll bet he's holding the sponge soaked in holy blood in the other hand. Yes, here we can see that the holy lance is represented in the shape of a spear. I'd better make sure I check this twice. It's, it's a work that dates from the Renaissance. And there's nothing to say that it's not based on erroneous elements. Recover the information. Now, I don't think we need to do that. The letter mentioned this. Right, leave. There's only one way of being sure. I'll have to find other clues that will confirm this information. That's right. Okay. So, sacred texts about the spear. Were they in here? I can't go back in. Maybe the library. So that was artistic depiction. Specialist in easy to I've got to go and see Von Wallner. He's going to be the specialist. Right. 
fight, I think we should get rid of these negative effects before we fight him. Fight him. Before we have a, a um, conversation. He's probably going to be Seems raging like at he us. Here. He's not here. Probably raging at Stola's sphere. Pick that up. A chemistry set. That's not surprising coming from Von Wolner. A chemistry set. That's not surprising coming from Von Wolner. Is that it? So, let's see what Volner has in his bookcase. Nice. Uh, a few works on religions, two scientific essays about human thought. Most of these works are on alchemy. Longini Militis Fabulum. Ah, what have we here? It looks like a kind of biography on Longinus the Centurion. Truly, Volner has done everything he can to get information about that lance. Mm, I'd better keep this one, though. Uh-oh. Dirty shit. Damn, that's all I need. Maybe he knows something about the lance. What are you doing in my room? Von Walner. He's immune to occultism. But maybe not manipulation, so that's a good thing. What's that? That's direct approach, isn't it? I'm just gonna go direct. Well, sir. I see you have some captivating books, and you seem to be rather interested in the famous Longinus. I... it's... Uh, what's it to do with you? I overheard you speaking with Piaggi. What are you two up to, exactly? No, I... Oh, fine. Yes. We are looking for the Holy Lance. That imbecile has given Mortimer all the ones kept in the private collection of the Holy See. But it, it's not what you think. I... hang on a minute. You're the one looking for the lance. No, Don't I... take me for a fool. You are looking for the holy lances. Yeah, what are you so afraid of? What's the matter? You seem completely panicked at the idea I might be interested in this relic. I... No, no, that's not true. What are you so afraid of? I'm not afraid. You know Mortimer's got it, so you're not worried that I'd give it back to him. What is so you? why are you so terrified of me being able to find it? You have no idea what it is you're looking for. What are you playing at, Richet? Mortimer's the one who has that cursed lance. How long have you been looking for it? Ah. I see. You want it, and so you plan to steal it from Mortimer. For a long time. Isn't that right? Why, you little swine! <laughs> You're planning to give it to Sir Gregory. You're looking to double-cross me and Piaggi too. What on earth is he talking about? Oh, I'm gonna do subterfuge. I wanna say it's for him. Because I want to make a profit. So calm yourself, goddammit. You're the one I'm trying to help. What? What? I heard you talking with his eminence, and it seemed to me that this story about the lances had put you in a tight spot. I was only trying to be helpful. But why didn't you tell me straight away? Seeing as I hadn't found it, I, I didn't want to commit myself too quickly. If I failed, I, I would look like a beginner. Uh, I understand, Louis. I thought you were trying to manipulate me. But please, uh, excuse me. I got a little bit... Uh, carried away but you can't get ahead by staying in the shadows on a case like this there are already several of us searching for the lance of longinus and it would be smarter to pool our information unfortunately i've barely made any progress 
I'm still trying to find out what the original Lance really looked like. Ah, let me reassure you, we've all been there, given the number of copies there are in existence. It also took us quite some time to discover its true shape. Many believe the central part of the head of the Lance to be covered in gold, whereas, in truth, its center is made of an alloy of copper and iron. That does make sense. In those times, a centurion wouldn't have any chance of possessing a lance made of gold. Ah, that is the perversion of Christian idolatry. A copper lance could not have been noble enough to pierce the side of Christ. Anyway, thank you, sir. You're welcome, Louis. Uh, keep me posted as to your research. We're bound to end up recovering it. I'm counting on it. See you later. Nice. So what information have I we got now? I managed to get the biography of Montius the Centurion. Let's see what it can teach me. Hmm. An interesting passage here tells me that the lance is engraved with the symbol of the first Christians. The fish. Right, we've got it. So it's copper and iron engraved with a fish and it's a boar spear. So we've got the artistic depiction the specialist information which was von Molnar and the sacred text. Well then again a biography is not exactly a sacred test, text is it? Right I'm going with this I'm sure that's all of the information. What I might do is, on the way down, I might stop by the library just to have a look and see if there's anything there. It's only a quick walk around. And it is... This way. I really need to stock up on their uh, focus points as well. Oh, hello. Take that. forbade me from reading it. Nothing. I can't remember where more jellies are. I don't think they're in here. Oh nice, that was Carmel water. I needed that. Right here, I should be good with this. I've got plenty of stuff in my inventory. I've got plenty of car caramel waters as well. Right, let's go. iron and it's got a fish so I'm pretty sure that we don't need to take the left path we need to take the right path first because that 
that's the first time we ever saw anything with a fish on it. Yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy. I want some fish. Not that one. That's a bit gold and it's wrong shape. Wrong shape. I can see that this lance has the shape of a boar sphere. The blade is partially coated in nope. copper, and I can just make out the symbol of the eye of Ra engraved on the tip. That's not it. That could very well be it. I can see this lance has a spear shape. It is copper rimmed, and it has been engraved with the symbol of the Christian fish on the tip. Copper rimmed. Shape of a boar spear. Lance describe and grave with a symbol of the fish at the tip. Ah, wait there. A symbol of a fish on the tip. That's not on the tip. Does it have to be right on the tip? What about this lance? It's got a spear shape, and the blade is partly made of copper. A barely visible crucifix is engraved on the blade. Maybe I'm looking too deep into this. Maybe I want like proper specifics. Now nah, it's going to be that one. Now wait there. Well, can I do this? No. There's a get... of Lord Mortimer. See if I can get the. Let's see what we can find here. Give me loot. Great. Now let's see what's inside. Nah, it doesn't. It doesn't really give you the loot. It's a one-time thing. That's a shame because I could have done with them uh, royal jellies. But never mind. I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna risk it for a chocolate biscuit. I can see this lance has a spear shape, it is copper rimmed, and it has been engraved with the symbol of the Christian fish on the tip. Oh well it's classed as the tip on the, f the fish on the tip I'm taking. I must be sure of my choice. I cannot get it wrong. Am I absolutely sure this is the one to take? Yes. <laughs> I hope that is the right one. Can we inspect any others if we change our mind? No, we've made our choice. We have to deal with it. We've made our bed. 
Now we must lie in it. Right at the wharf, so that's out the front. That's where we actually came in when we first started the game. We've done it. Right. I have not found all the clues enabling me to identify the Lance of Longinus, and I did not find all the copies of the Lance of Longinus, Longinus, or whatever you pronounce, kept by Lord Mortler. Right. So we're not exactly 100% whether we've got the right lance. <laughs> Where were the other copies of the lance? Maybe there was one just lying on the floor somewhere. Right. We could have missed a crucial bit of information here, but we're going to have to see if it, if, if it was crucial or not. Four points. Gotta go inside. There we go. Right. Okay, lads. We'll call that episode there. And in this next episode, we're gonna try and escape by the wall or meet my mother at the wall. And she's probably gonna be raging because I've got the wrong spear. <laughs> Actually, no. It should not even be raging because she doesn't even know what it looks like herself. I suppose the only way we'll find out is when we try to stab this demon with it and it just goes, what are you doing? It's the wrong one. <laughs> right. See you in the next one, lads.